Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, very good. So, sige. Yung gagawin natin, because before, anong nang ginawa natin? We did the worksheet. Gumawa tayo ng worksheet. And we prepared income statement. And after that, the statement of changes in equity. And then the balance sheet. So, we're now down to our fourth financial statement, which is the statement of cash flows. Normally, lima ang, lima ang complete set of financial statements, balance sheet, income statement, statement of changes in equity, cash flows, and notes to financial statements. Pero ang tinuturo lang talaga sa undergrad is hanggang cash flows lang. Because the notes to financial statements... Um, more on explanations lang kasi yan ng mga policies na ginagamit ng business natin. So, hanggang statement of cash flows lang yung tinuturo sa undergrad because usually the notes real life na yan. Kumbaga, actual practice na. So, okay, we're down to statement of cash flows. Ito ha, matanong ko lang because you were, ano ba not really familiar with the strands. Ano ang strand ninyo? No senior high? ABM, ma'am. Oh, ABM, yeah. Na, um, tinuro na ba yung statement of cash flows? Kung paano gawin? Hello, class. Naturo na ba sa inyo yung statement of cash flows? Murag, wala pa, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so I want you to listen this time, ha? Because class before, nung first year college ako, basic, diba? Ang ito, yung statement of cash flows before, hindi tinuro sa amin. Dali lang, mabatian ko ninyo kahit kusog kayong ulan sa mua. Yes, ma'am, mabatian, ma'am. Mabatian lang. Sige, very good. Dali lang ha, kasi parang may nag-chat. Hey, ma'am. Ah. Okay. So, before, sa amin, yung tinuro lang, um, income statement, changes in equity, and balance sheet. Hanggang doon lang. Pero kasali sa exam namin noon, ang cash flows. So, yung ginawa ng professor namin, sabi niya, basaha lang ninyo na kung saan na paghimo i appeal na ako na sa exam. So, di ba, ganahan ka na mong exam, nga wala ka kabaloon saon. So, ngayon, ituturo ko sa inyo ang statement of cash flows kay ni Anna. Jude ko before, itong estudyante pa ko nga, if it's my turn na to teach, I will really teach this one. Kaya naglibog, Jude ko, ani before, o self-study. Like, syempre, di ba, first year ka pa, ano-ano pa ka sa accounting, unsa pa lang man yung nabalaan. So, yeah, I really wanna teach you the statement of cash flows, but take note, yung approach natin sa statement of cash flows, yung approach ng pagtuturo ko sa inyo is not the typical one. Hindi ito yung, um, yung typical na undergrad na pagtuturo. Ang approach na gagawin ko sa inyo is review approach. Ibig sabihin, kung Anong ituturo ko sa inyo tonight regarding statement of cash flows, ganito kami tinuruan sa review center na. Because I want you to learn the techniques as early as now. As early as first year pa lang kayo, gusto ko alam na alam nyo ang statement of cash flows. Because with my previous experience, yun nga, hindi siya tinuro, I was really... um disappointed that time kasi nga ganun yung professor namin but then babawi gusto kong bumawi um this time ituturo ko siya sa inyo but not yung typical na pagtuturo sa undergrad ituturo yung mga concepts malalaman niyo pa rin ang concepts pero gusto ko shortcut na tayo okay lang ba yon techniques na ang ituturo ko sa inyo is that yes, okay ma'am yes okay Si Gel, let's start ha. Ito yung statement of cash flows. So, ito yung definition niya. It provides information about the cash receipts, take note, cash receipts and cash payments lang. 
Ibig sabihin, lahat ng makikita mo sa loob ng statement of cash flows regarding cash lang talaga. Cash flows nga, di ba? So, it's either inflow or outflow. Inflow, papasok sa company yung mga cash na pumasok sa company. Outflow, yung mga cash na lumabas sa company, yung inilabas ng company. Now, there are three important concepts, very important concepts sa statement of cash flows. Itong tatlo, operating activities, investing activities, financing activities. Before, uh, sabi ng reviewer namin, kung, kasi maganda pag, kasi sa pag-present nito mamaya sa statement of cash flows, mauuna yung operating, tapos investing, and then financing. Now, may tendency na baka makalimutan mo yung order, sabi niya, tandaan niyo na lang, OIF. OIF, OIF. O-I-F. Operating, Investing, Financing. Para hindi niyo makalimutan, kung gagawa kayo ng statement of cash flows, alam niyo na ang mauuna is Operating, Investing, Financing. So, just, ano, um, just remember OIF para alam niyo yung order. Okay, kasi dapat in order yan. Mauunang operating, investing, and financing. Now, ang makikita lang sa statement of cash flows, yung mga entries na may corresponding cash, debit, or credit. Because we can debit cash and we can credit cash. Depende sa transaction natin. Now, paano natin makaklasify ang isang journal entry, ang isang transaction kung operating activity ba siya, or investing activity siya, or financing activity ba siya. Because that's the most critical part sa statement of cash flows. Yung classification mo ng transaction. Kung operating ba, investing, or financing. Ganito yon. If a journal entry... Um, Kasi di ba sa journal entry, wait lang ha, punta tayo sa mga journal entries natin. Can you see this? Yung Excel na? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So di ba sa journal entry, in a simple journal entry, may isang debit and may isang credit. For this entry, December 1, nag-debit tayo ng cash, tapos nag-credit tayo ng capital. So, kumbaga, yung corresponding entry niya is yung capital, cash and capital. Now, kapag yung, ano, kapag yung journal entry, yung corresponding um, account ng cash has something to do about a current asset, a current liability, or a line item in your income statement, yung journal entry na yun, should be considered as operating activities. Uh, mamaya, mas klaro yan. Um, like ganito ha. Uh, ito. Kung sa December 1 na transaction, ito, pasok talaga ito sa statement of cash flows. Because hindi lahat ng entries class ay papasok sa Statement of cash flows. Kasi nga, ang statement of cash flows, yung ina-account niya lang yung mga transaction na merong cash inflow cash. or outflow. outflow. So, dapat lahat ng entries na may cash sa, sa either debit or credit niya, yun lang yung ipapasok mo sa statement of cash flows. But the question is, paano mo malalaman kung O siya, I, or F? kung operating, investing, and financing. Yung sabi dito, kapag ang, kapag ang partner ng cash is a current asset, a current liability, or, an, or a line item in the income statement, yung journal entry na yun is an operating activity. So, ang tatandaan mo lang sa operating, operating activity is either CA, current asset, CL, current liability, or net income. Now, net income ang nakalagay dyan, but actually, ito yung mga items na makikita mo sa income statement. 
All items that will result for the computation of your net income or net loss or lahat ng items na nasa loob ng income statement, kapag yun ang partner ng cash sa journal entry mo, that transaction is an operating activity. Ano nga yung makikita natin sa income statement class? Anong mga line items ang meron doon? Anong makikita natin sa income statement? Kalimutan nyo na. Makikita ba natin doon ang inventory? Sa income Revenues statement? and expenses. Yes. Revenues and expenses. Lahat ng revenues, lahat ng expenses, expenses. papasok sa income statement natin. So, kung ang partner ng cash sa journal entry is either revenue or expense or current asset or current liability, yung journal entry na yon is an operating activity. Alright? Tapos, kapag naman dito tayo, let's move on sa investing activity. Anong partner ng cash dito? Kapag ang partner ng cash, ito lang yung tatandaan mo, kapag ang partner ng cash is a non-current asset, investing activity yun. Tandaan niyan yan, non-current asset. I'm teaching you the techniques na. And then, kapag ang partner ng cash is an equity account or a non-current liability, that journal entry is a financing activity. So, madali lang siyang tandaan. Sa operating activities, current asset, current liability, tapos yung mga line items sa income statement. Kapag investing, non-current asset. Kapag financing, non-current liability. Okay, sige ha, let's, let's try. Ano nga yung tatlong activities sa statement of cash flows? Operating, Operating investing, 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 financing. Okay, dali lang. Okay. Lang ha. Wow. Investing and financing. So, ano yan? Um, OIF. O-I-F. Operating, investing, and financing. Ano nga yung partner ng cash kapag operating activity? Mga current asset. Mga current asset, ma'am. Current liabilities. Current asset, current liabilities, expenses, and revenues. Yeah, very good. Current asset, current liability, revenue, and expenses. Very good. How about sa investing? Non-current asset. Non-current asset. Good. Sa financing. Non-current liabilities. And? Current liabilities. Asset. Long-term current asset. Ano pa? And? Equity. 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 So, di ba, kung titingnan nyo, kompleto na may current asset, may non-current asset, current liability, non-current liability, tapos equity, and then your revenue and expenses. So, tandaan nyo yan. Actually, class, sa statement of cash flows, ito lang talaga yung, kumbaga, pinaka-technique kung matandaan mo to. Na yung operating, ang partner niya, CACL, revenue expense, investing, and CA, financing, NCL, and equity. So, sige ha. Now, another technique. Because, sabi ko, ang papasok lang sa cash flows, 
are all the journal entries na merong cash, yung pinakamagandang basis mo when you are preparing um, a statement of cash flows is actually your T account for cash. Kasi di ba nanjan lahat. So dapat lahat ng nandito, because we are still gonna use wedding bells ha, lahat ng nandito dapat makikita mo sa statement of cash flows. Kasi itong T account ng cash, syempre, nandito lahat yung mga transactions regarding cash. Yun nga lang, hahanapin pa natin mamaya kung ano yung partner niya. Like ito, December, na, December 1 na 250, yes, we have debit na 250, pero ano ang credit that time? So that's the time na babalik ka sa mga journal entries mo. Pero ito, definitely, ito yung parang basis mo talaga. Kung kompleto ba yung statement of cash flows mo, dapat lahat ng items dito from December 1 to December 31 na may kinalaman sa cash, dapat papasok siya mamaya sa statement of cash flows. So, gagawin natin, we'll copy this. Kati-kati. Wait lang. Ay! Wait lang. Kasi naka-ano na to eh. Ma'am, mag-reconnect lang ko, ma'am ha. Mm, sige, sige. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Dili makita ang screen yun. Pero yung iba nakikita nyo? Yes, ma'am. Makita ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma Okay. So, ang gagawin ko ngayon is kokopyahin ko yung T-account ng cash ha. Basta T-account sa account receivable mo kopyahon. T-account ng man. cash. <laughs> Yan. So, dapat mamaya lahat ng items dito, ito o, oh, yan, yung mga naka-blue, lahat yan dapat mafo-forward natin sa ating statement of cash flows. So, sige. Dito sa baba, sinulat ko na yung operating. Sige natin. Ah, highlight. Kasi iisa-isahin natin lahat ng mga journal entries na yan na nasa loob ng the account. Titingnan natin kung operating ba siya, investing, or financing. So, do you follow pa? Do you follow pa? Operating, investing, financing, yan pa lang yung nadidiscuss natin ha. Kapag yung partner ng cash is CACL revenue or expense, operating activity siya. Kapag ang partner ng cash is NCA, investing activity siya. Kapag ang partner ng cash is NCL and equity, financing activity siya. So sige, isa-isahin natin to. We will do this in chronological order. Mag-uumpisa tayo sa December 1. Dili ta mag-matter nga debit ni Tanan or credit ni Tanan. Isa-isa ho nato siya. So we'll start with this one. December 1, 250,000. So we will go back. Babalikan mo yung journal entry mo kasi hindi ka sure kung ano ito. Yes, meron kang debit. Pero hindi mo alam kung ano yan. Alam mo lang na may debit na cash. So, ano ito? Inflow or outflow? What do you think? Is this an inflow or outflow? Inflow. Flow. Inflow, yes. Actually, lahat nitong side na to, itong nakadebit na yan, these are all inflows. While this, yung mga lahat ng, ka, ng mga nakakredit, these are all outflows. Okay? I hope that's clear. Kasi mamaya, kapag outflow ang isang item, ine-negative mo. Don't forget that. Ine-negative natin yung lahat ng outflows. Okay? So, sige. Let's do this first. December 1, 250,000. Let's go back sa ating journal entry, ano ba yung 250,000? So, ito yon December 1, 250,000 debit. So, ito yon Now, ano ang partner ng cash? 
Ano ang partner ng cash? What type Cap- of account Capital. ang partner ng cash? Yes, capital. capital. What type of account ang capital? What type of account? Is it an asset, liability, equity, revenue, expense? No. Answer my question first. What type of account ang capital? Iisa-isahin natin step by step tayo. Is this an asset? Is this an a liability, equity, revenue, or expense? Equity. Equity. Capital. Equity, yes. Capital is equity. Now, equity. balik tayo sa criteria natin. Kapag ang partner ng cash ay equity, anong klaseng activity siya? Financing. Financing. Activity. financing. So, punta tayo dito sa baba kasi nandito ang financing sa baba. Lagyan mo dyan ng December 1. Lagay mo yung amount. And then, magbigay ka ng kaunting description. So, anong pwede nating i-describe dito? This is what? This is what type of transaction? Capital. Capital. Madam's investment. capital. Yes, this is a capital investment. Hindi na tayo magre-rely sa mga ano, sa account titles. Yung bibigay natin dito is the description itself. Kung anong klasing ano yan. Di, di ba pag mag-journal entry ka, some professors would require you to give um short explanation, but I did not require you to do that kasi hindi naman yung ginagawa in actual practice. So dito, um, kakaunting description lang kung anong klasing transaction ito. So this December 1 transaction na nag-increase yung cash mo, debit of 250,000, is a capital investment or investment by the owner. Kasi yun yung isusulat mo mamaya sa statement of cash flows. So sige, we're done now with this. I-highlight natin, i-bold lang natin, just to, para matandaan lang natin na we're done with that. So yun ha, bakit siya naging financing? Because yung partner ng cash is an equity account. And based sa ating criteria, kapag it's a financing activity. So, ito, i- ah, huwag na natin i-highlight yan. Okay na yan. So, what would be next? Anong next natin i-account? Alin dyan? Chronological. We're going chronological. Eh, eh, December 1, ma'am. Credit yes, side. Yes, December 1 na credit. credit. So, we check natin kung anong nangyari dito. December 1 na credit. Ito. Yan. Anong partner ng cash? Repaid rent. Repaid rent is what type of account? Asset. Asset. Current or non-current? Current. Non-current. Current. 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 Ano gid bala? Current or non-current? Pag sure. Parent or non-parent? Current. Current. Yes, prepaid rent is a current asset. So, let's go to the criteria. Kapag current asset, what type of activity? Operating. 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 Dito natin siya isusulat na kailangan isulat yung date ito para lang di tayo magkamali no? para dili, magbalik-balik ito ang mga gipang account ba so anong give a brief description lang for this one this is actually payment for rent payment for rent yan na lang kasi Something to do about rent. Yeah, it's payment for rent. You don't have to say na in advance. Hindi magmamatter yun sa statement of cash flows. Basta ito, binayad niya for rent. Pero may mali. May mali sa ginawa ko. Why? Because this is an outflow. Anong sabi ko kanina? Dapat negative. naka negative yan. So, don't forget that. Nakalimutan ko gano'n eh. Don't forget that ha, kapag kayo na, in a negative mo talaga yan. Kasi baka magkamali ka mamaya sa pag, ano mo, sa pag-add ng mga items. So, we're gonna hold that one. We're done. And what's next? December 2, debit. 
Debit. Debit. <laughs> number two, debit. <laughs> Sige, let's check. Yes, number two, debit. Then, so, where is that? Anong partner ng cash? Notes payable. Notes payable. Oh, sige, ito ha. Um, when we... Anong klaseng account ito? Notes payable. Liability. 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 Is this a current or non-current? Current. 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 O, oh, sige. I just wanna um, clarify this one. Yes, the notes payable is a current liability because kailangan siyang bayaran in one year. That's when we classify, di ba, yung mga liabilities natin. If it's payable in one year or less, pasok siya sa current. But I just want you to um, take note then this definition of financing activities. Because usually talaga, yung mga loans, yung mga notes payable, usually ha, long term yan. It just so happen na yung sa, um, sa problem natin, babayaran siya within one year. Kaya naging non-current liability siya. Pero kung papansinin mo dito sa definition ng financing activities, these are the transactions affecting equity and capital borrowings. So, lahat ng mga inutang natin for capital purposes. Kasi pwede tayong mangutang sa suppliers, di ba? Iba yun. Kapag mangutang ka ng kapital, kasi nangutang tayo dito ng kapital, although current liability siya, supposed to be dapat operating siya, in this case, ipapasok natin siya sa financing activity. Because dito siya mabebelong sa capital borrowings na criteria. So, although, yes, sinabi ko kanina, pag current liability operating, except this one, lahat ng mga borrowings, mga inutang natin, mga loans, bank loans, notes payable, bank loan payable, pasok yun siya dapat sa financing activity. Just take note of that. Although current liability siya sa ating classification, pero dahil capital borrowing siya, ito yung mananaig na criteria. Financing activity, yung nangyari sa December 2. Kasi diba dito, nangutang siya ng 210,000. So, pang capital niya kasi to pandagdag niya ng capital niya. So, dapat for December 2, Saan natin siya ipapasok? OIF. F. F. So, anong date yon? December 2, 210. Positive kasi naka-debit side. So, sige. What's next? What's next? December 4. December 4 na 420,000. 20, so, let's check Man, what happened. Na. Ano na? Ay, oo pala, wala pa lang description. So, ito is borrowings. Pwede mo lang sabihin Borrowing na. Money. Borrowings. Pwede na yan. So, let's proceed with December 4 na 420,000. Mm -hmm. Let's check. December 4, 420. So, ito yun. Credit, December 4, 420,000. Anong partner ng cash? Anong partner niya? What type of account? Invest. Ay, hindi niya. Ano ito lang? Non-current asset? Hmm? Non-current Non -current yes, non-current asset. Service vehicle is an asset and it's a non-current asset. So, anong activity siya? Investing. Investing. Very good. Hi, ma'am. So, hi. December 4, magkano yung amount? 420 and dapat oh, naka? 20. Negative. Negative. Kasi credit siya. Apo. Oh. 
Mm-mm. So, ang nangyari dito, bumili siya, di ba? Bumili siya ng vehicle. So, acquisition. 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 All vehicles. Pwede na yan. Pwede na lang ganyan yung explanation. So, let's highlight this one. And what's next? December 4, 14, December 4. 4, 14, 4. So, let's check what happened. 14,400. Okay. Yes. Anong partner ng cash? Prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance. So, kung prepaid insurance yon, anong klaseng activity siya? Operating. 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 Very good. Operating. Because prepaid insurance is what type of account? Expense. Hmm? Prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance. What Asset. type of account? Asset. It's a current asset. So, that's why dito siya pasok. And, dapat naka negative. So, pwede nang ilagay mo dyan payment of insurance. Uh, payment of insurance. So, sige. Let's highlight this. See. What's next? December 5. December 5. So, yan. Ang December 5. Kanay. <laughs> Anong partner ng cash? Counterpart niya, ha? Office equipment. Oo. Uh -uh. As you can see, this is a... Um, taw Anong tawag pag maraming ano? <laughs> Compound entry. This is a compound entry. May dalawang credit side. When mm -hmm. I ask you kung anong partner ng cash, yung titingnan mo yung opposite. Hindi yung kasama niya on account. his side. Office Ang kasama equipment. niya on his side is the accounts payable. Pero pag itatanungin ka kung anong partner niya, yung opposite. So, office anong equipment. debit dito? It's the office equipment. Kasi magmamatter yan. It will matter because kung accounts payable yung sasabihin mo na partner niya, syempre gagawin mo siyang operating because accounts payable is a current liability. Pero yung itatan yung what I really mean is yung counterpart niya. So ang counterpart ng cash is office, office equipment which is what type of account? Non-current asset. Non-current non asset. asset. So anong activity siya? Investing. Investing. Yes. So, wait lang. How much was that? 15. So, dito tayo under sa investing. Magkano yun? Negative. 15,000 and 15, it should be negative. negative. And this is acquisition of office equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like that. What's next? December 9. December 9. Ding, ding, ding. Yan. Nga, what type of activity is that? Current payable. Current liability. Mm -hmm. December 9, account payable. Mm -hmm. Tab, anong, anong klaseng activity yan? OIF. Sorry. I financing. Mm -hmm. Operating. Operating. Because <laughs> ang counterpart ng cash is yeah. accounts payable. Accounts payable is what type of account? Apo. What type of account ang accounts payable? Current, Current liabilities. Liability. So, under siya sa operating. 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 Okay. Number nine. Dapat naka-negative. Negative. And ano to? Payment to suppliers yan. Kasi nagbayad siya nito, di ba? 
Nangutang siya okay, dito, so. December 8, tapos nung December 9, nagbayad siya. So, you can actually label that as payment to suppliers. Suppliers. Sige. Yan. What's next? December 10. December 10. December 10. Yan. Yun. Organism. Uh, Consulting revenue. Mm. <laughs> so... Operating. Mm. Operating? Bakit? Hindi, ma'am. Financing, ma'am. Financing. Financing? Bakit? Ambot. 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 Operating. Yes, this oh is God. an operating oh, activity okay, because okay. it's under revenue. Yung equity kasi na um, tinutukoy dito is yung capital no. investment lang and yung withdrawals dito sa financing. Ah. Yes, um, this is a revenue account. Although kung iisipin mo, it's an equity account also. Pero because meron tayong specific classification dito na yung revenue is under operating, definitely doon natin siya ipapasok. Yung December 10 na 26,400. Positive, negative? Positive. Positive. So, ang pwede natin i-label dito because these are from customers. ba? These are from customers. Pwede mong lagay dyan na cash. Receipts from customers. Pwedeng ganon. Okay? But I won't be strict sa inyong mga labels. Hindi ako magiging strict doon. Basta kahit As tama. As lang, lang, lang. Oo, murag na alay thought. Basta ah, okay, kung mali yun ang thought, eh, mali yun. Pero kung ka nang <laughs> nag gusto lang yun mo mag arti arti sa imong English, gora, basta nakuha mo ang thought. Okay? <laughs> Try one word. <laughs> Saan ba niyo ni pagpuan? Pag arte-arte, ang cash receipts from customers. Napabay mo ragla in terms, Ana. Nga mo ragla loom. <laughs> cash collected. Oh, yeah. Pwede yun. Cash collections. Cash collected from customers. Cash received from customers. Mga ganun. Okay? So, what's next? Happy na tayo. December Halfway there. 13. December 13. December 13. So, let's check. Magkano yung amount? 6,600. Six. 6, what type of activity is that? Operating. 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 Yun. Galing yun na. Uh, <laughs> Una class, yeah, mga ingani, ako alang yun ding ibintot-bintot kung OIF ba. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. As in, dili ko kabalo kung operating kaya akong maestro mong good ba. Ang sanin, positive, negative? Negative. Positive. Negative. 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 So, ang um, pwedeng i-ano dyan is payment to employees. Because salary, di ba ito? This is a salaries expense. So, parang pwede na rin ganun. Pwede rin payment for salaries. Pwede rin ganun. It's up to you. Basta makuha mo lang yung thought. And tama lang yung positive or negative mo dyan. Okay? So, I won't be strict with that. What's next? December 15. December 15. Let's check. Unearned consulting revenue. Unearned. So, what type of activity? Bakit operating? Ay, hindi. Tay, revenue. Financing, bro, ma'am. Ay, ano, unearned man mo. Oh, unearned consulting revenue. What type of account yan? Liabilities, ma'am. Liability. Current or non-current? Non-current. Hmm? 
current current ang, uh, ang current, <laughs> current liability current, yeah. and earned consulting revenue so what type of activity yon operating <clears throat> operating so december 15 10,000 positive and dahil ang transaction is although it gives rise to a liability yung pera galing pa rin sa customers, customers. diba galing pa rin sa yes. customers so pwede mo na tong kopyahin cash receipts from customers it won't matter here kung naging revenue ba siya or naging liability kasi yung gusto na talaga natin malaman dito kung para saan yung cash Kung ano yung purpose nun. Hindi kagaya nung ginagawa natin before. So, we're done with December 15. What's next? December 25. December 25. December 25. Check. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. Withdrawal, equity. Equity. So, financing. Galing. I see. December 25, magkano? 14,000. Positive, negative? Negative. Neg positive. Ay, negative. negative. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, good. Sorry, good. <laughs> So, pwede na tong withdrawals. Um, owners, withdrawal. Owners, withdrawal. So, happy na Jude. Happy na mag-new year. What's next? 27. 27. Let's check. Expense. Expense. Operating. Kaling, ang isig na gimo klas. <laughs> December 7. This is negative, ha? And, ano ito? Salaries. So, pwede na natin tong kopyahin. Payment to employees. Employees. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, highlight. Bold natin yan. What's next? December 30. December 30. Anong nangyari? Wait, the LDT bill. <laughs> Delay, accounts receivable. Ang ano? Ay, December 30. <laughs> so, what type of activity ang December 30? Current asset. Ay, delay na. Mm. Okay. Uh -oh. What type of activity? Operating. 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 Galing. December 30. Uy, as in, kuha niyo agad. Nakuha na ko ang statement of cash flows class sa review school na. <laughs> so, nag-graduate ko accountancy. Nga, di ko kabalo, di li ko sure sa kong statement of cash flows. Sa review school na ginako siya na intindihan kay igiing ani ni pagtudlo. Yay, so, thank you, ano yun? Yeah, you're welcome. Ay, nga December 24. Ay, dili. December 30, tapos 24,000 ang amount. Ano nga ito? Ano yan? So, anong pwede natin i-explanation? Receive cash. Pwede rin itong cash receipts from customers. ba? Kasi from customers pa rin yung cash. Yes. Mm-mm. -mm. And last, New Year na! Yay! So, let's check. Negative. Utilities expense, operating activities. Amazing. Operating. Super. 31. Negative 3,000. Negative. 3,000. So, pwede na tong payment to Negative. utilities. Yes. Utilities. So, we're done classifying. This is the first uh, critical step. Classifying the transactions, whether they are operating, investing, or financing. And I'm telling you, ang galing nyo, class. Kuha nyo sa agad. So, yeah. Sana ganyan ha. Pagbigyan ko kayo ng activities. Tsaka, class, pag gagawa kayo ng activities, yung mga assignments na pinapagawa ko, 
please um try i know na kumbaga dili man din maiwasan na mag mangayo na lang kag answer sa si imong classmate no dili man ta mo maingnan nga ayaw lang mo pangopya kay yeah just try na ikaw lang sa kay basig yes. makuha lang nimo di ba dili na magsalig ka dayon maghulat lang ko sa imo friend tapos yes. i- forward lang sa ko a friend picture lang kay lahiun lang nako akong explanation para di mahalata ni ma'am I try sa nga ikaw lang kay basig kaya lang di ani mo I'm telling you class lahi ang satisfaction pag ikaw ang nakakuha sa tama nga answer without Jude. any help. Hmm? Yes. Kay nga no, I'm telling you this Tama kasi first time pa lang kayo. Now, it's very important na as early as ngayon, independent ka independent. na. Dili man ka ligtas. Kay nga no, if you are going to take the board exam, dili ka makasalig sa imong friends, sa imong katapad sa board exam, dili na siya pwede. So, dili ko gusto nga ka nang mag-develop good mo o ka nang habit nga maghulat lang sa, i- sa uban ninyong classmates. Kay pag board exam, ikaw lang baya isa. Yes, daghan mo sa room, pero dili mo pwede mag, lingi anay, dili pwede magpangutan anay. So, if you have that in your mind to pass a board exam, to pass an exam in the future, please start as early as now. Be independent. Okay? Okay. Tips lang. So, ang gagawin mo yes, na lang ngayon... Yes, very good. Kakuan lagi si Leonardo. <laughs> Naka-comment. So, ang gagawin mo ngayon, i- sasam mo na lang yan. Yes, Leonardo. Isasam mo na lang yan. So, dapat 11-2 ang bottom line mo sa operating activities. And 435 na negative. And 146 positive sa financing. Mm-hmm. So, gagawin na natin ngayon ang actual ang actual statement. Kasi ito, ang ginawa natin, nag-classify pa lang tayo. We're not done yet. Malayo pa yung lalakarin natin. Gagawa na tayo ng actual financial statement. The statement of cash flow. So, anong ang unang gagawin? Header. So, anong first Line sa header. Wedding bells. Wedding, Wedding bells. bells. And what type of statement is this? This is a statement, statement of, cash, of flows. cash flows. And then for the year. For the year. And then, and then December, December 31, 2019. 2019. Okay. So, tingnan natin class ha. Diba, apat, ng, apat na yung nagawa natin na financial statements. Kasi yung worksheets, di siya magka-count as financial statement. Hindi kasi ito financial statement ang worksheet. Pero, kung ikaw-compare mo, sa worksheet, ang gamit for the year ended. Sa income statement, for the year ended. Sa equity, for the year ended. Sa cash flows, for the year ended. Nag-iisa lang, class, ang balance sheet. Balance siya sheet. lang yung gagawa ng December 31, 2019. Okay? Gusto ko lang i-ano yan sa inyo para hindi kayo malito sa susunod. Sa lahat ng mga financial statements, even sa worksheet, although worksheet is not a financial statement, sa lahat ng mga yan na gagawin mo, y- natatangi lang yung balance sheet na wala siyang for the year ended. Alright? Yes. Kumbaga, yung date na mismo yung isusulat niya dyan sa header niya. So, tandaan niyo lang yan. Uh, ha? Para hindi makuan. Kasi di ba, pwede naman ko ka maghimo-himo dira unya. Butang na pud mo for the year ended. Kapag balance Wrong. sheet December 31, 2019 lang the actual date itself. Wala na yung for the year, for the month or kung ano man yang gagamitin mo. Okay? So, that's clear. So, unahin natin. Ano nga uunahin sa statement of cash flows? What type of activity? Operating. 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 So, Wait, ha? So, sulat mo dyan. Cash flows from operating, operating. activities. And then, pwede na natin tong isulat. But, 
um, gusto ko lang, although hindi naman, ah sige, ganito na lang, I'm gonna be strict with this, uunahin mo lahat ng positive. Kasi marami yan, di ba? May negative, may positive. Uunahin natin lahat ng positive. Now, yung mga amounts na same yung explanation, isahin mo na lang din. So, i-account natin lahat ng positive, ha? Nasaan dyan ang mga positive amounts sa operating or um, the inflows? Where are the inflows sa operating activities natin? Saan dyan? Parang 26K, ma'am. December 10, ma'am. Kami, tapos asa pa? December 15. December 15. Ay, asa ka? December 13. December 13. So, kung mo, same lang ang explanation. So, pwede dito. December 15. Pwede dito, sab, lagay mo na lang dyan, cash receipts from customers. Kasi gusto ko mauna yung mga positive. And i-add mo na lang lahat. So, magkano yan? 36, 4, ay, 36, 4, plus 24, 36, what, ay, ay, ano, 50, ano, 8, 54, wait lang, class, ha, I'm gonna, may babasahin lang akong message, ha, i-ano nyo muna, ah, wait lang, Okay, sorry ha. May binasa lang kasi akong very important message. So, magkano? 60,400. 60, Pila-pila? 60,400. 60,400. 60, 60, Yan. Dapat nakapositive din ha. Sige, negative po din mo na. Mali na po. And then, since this is the first amount, dapat may two kasasign. So, i-highlight lang natin to just to make sure na dilik na magbalik-balik ko niya. Word na, tapos na to. So, negative na lang tanan ang nabilin. So, from the top na lang ta. Naabay mag-same? Mag ah, na-ay same. Same ang kanilang buha. Same ang 6672. So, later na lang. Unahin natin tong rent. So, pwede mo yung lagay dyan. Cash, payment, for rent. Magkano? Positive, negative? Negative 8,000. Ayan. And... Next, cash payment for insurance. Kung ka po yan ka magsigig sa lot of cash, pwede na ko na payment for insurance. Na tayo ka pa rin naman. Ah? Ang insurance? Ay, wala. Wala. Siya lang isa. So, 14,400. Next. Payment to suppliers. Cash payment to suppliers. 10,000. 10,000. Are you following class? Kung anong ginagawa ko? Yes, ma'am. Yes, very good. Tapos ito, payment to employees. Dalawa sila pag-i-add now. 7, 2 plus 13, 8. 7, 2 
Utilities. Bahalag magkina si Renanto na nga imong grammar dire. Basta again, yung thought na kuha. Ha? 3,000. So, yun na yan lahat. So, dapat 11,2. Lagay mo dito sa next niya, sa another column and sa next line, yung sum. Total. And because this is the first column, uh, this is the first line item for this column, my society. Now, what, anong tawag dito? Now, this is very important, ha? Ang tawag mo dyan, net cash provided um, by fine. operating activities. <laughs> Yan ang gagamitin mo, class. Makinig, ha? Ito ang gagamitin mo kapag positive. Yang mm. sum. Pero kapag negative yan, ang gagamitin is net cash used in operating uh, activities. By used in. Kapag positive, provided it's by, dili provided by. in. Basig provided <laughs> in, used by. Ayaw, balik para. Net cash provided by, kapag positive, kapag negative, net cash used in. And then, kopyahin mo kung anong klaseng activity yun. And for this case, operating. So, delete ko lang to because yung tama is net cash provided by because this is a positive amount. Okay? What's next? Cash flows from what? From investing Investing activities. Activities. Um, tingnan natin yung kodigo. Acquisition of vehicle. Hindi sila magkapareha. So, layon na lang na to. Cash acquisition of service vehicle. Diba ito? Yes, ma'am. So, so, magkano yun? I got the 120. And cash acquisition of office equipment na magkano 15,000 So ano magkano yan kasi yun lang di ba tapos na dalawang items lang 400 sum na lang natin Now what will be our label for this one Health cash use in investing activities Net cash used in investing activities because negative, negative. total. So, what's the last? Cash flows from financing activities. Financing activities. Mm, ito, 200, walang magkaparehas kasi ito, capital investment, ito, borrowing, ito, so, pwede dito, cash received from owners, um, from investment, from investment by owners. So, again, ikaw bahala kung paano mo siya kanang guwapahon imuhang mga ano dira explanation pero ayun lang po kay taas ha basig essay na pud one line one line item lang cash received from investment by owners 250 positive negative positive next itong borrowings so cash pwede na yang cash Receive from borrowings. Pwede nang ganyan. And magkano? 210 na positive. 
And last, owner's withdrawal. So, pwede na siya mm, withdraw, a uh, cash withdrawal. Negative By or owners. Uh, owner lang man, kay isa lang man yung tag-iyan. Si madam lang. Magkano? 14? Negative. Thousand. This is how much? Positive. 446. So, tama. Check mo rin kung tama. Bagihan ko siya sa yung mga ano. So, 446. So, anong tawag dito? Net cash provided by financing activities. Financing activities. Yun. So, we're not done yet. Next, gagawin, lagyan dito ng net, pwedeng increase or decrease. Tingnan natin kung ano siya dapat, because dapat isa lang. Usually, sa statement of cash flows, nilalagay dyan net increase or decrease. Pero kung alam mo naman na nag-increase talaga or nag-decrease, ayaw na lang ibutang ang isa. So, ang gagawin mo, kasi di ba inad mo to, so ito yung total ng operating Ito ang total ng investing. Ito ang total ng financing. So, para makuha mo yung net increase or decrease in cash, i-add mo yung tatlo. Yung tatlong yan. So, dahil positive siya, alisin mo na yung decrease. Kasi nag-increase siya because it's a positive. Positive. It's positive amount. So, positive siya. And, meron ka pang idadagdag dito. Cash balance at the beginning of the period. And, cash ba balance at the end of the period. So, ano ba tong cash balance at the beginning of the period? Um, This is possible lang. Kung meron tayong prior period transactions, pero di ba dahil nag-start tayo December 1 and nag-end tayo agad December 31, yun lang yung in-account natin dito. So, wala tayong beginning cash balance kasi kakaumpisa pa lang naman yung ng company natin. So, zero yan. Meron yung amount sana dyan kung halimbawa, um, let's say for example, January 2020. So, kung magkano yung end dito, yung ending balance ng December 31, 2019, yung ending balance niya, yun yung magiging beginning balance ng January 1, 2020. 20. Nag-gets ba? Yes, ma'am. Dito, zero siya for now kasi kakaumpisa lang ng business natin, di ba? Ito pa lang talaga yung transaction natin eh. After one month, nag-close agad tayo ng books because yun nga, December 31 na. So, zero ang cash balance natin at the beginning. So, kung meron sana yan, ia-add mo. Kung meron itong amount, ia-add mo. Ia now, ang cash balance, hindi pwedeng maging negative, ha? Yeah. Hindi pwedeng negative yung cash balance at the end. Pwedeng maging negative ito dito. Kapag halimbawa, um, Malaki. Uh, negative ito, pwede itong maging negative dito. But, Kapag i add mo yung beginning na balance ng cash, dapat yung ending hindi negative. The cash mm -hmm. balance should always be positive. positive. So, yung gagawin mo, yung net increase or decrease, i add mo lang sa beginning dahil zero yan. So, yun lang din yung sagot. 22,200. Now, let's check. Paano na ako ma-sure, ma'am, nga tama akong gihimo? Tanawa mong P-account. Pila ang ending balance? 22,200. 22,200. Tanawa imuhang... Asa makitan gani ang cash? Unsa nga statement? Makitan ang cash? Balance. Sa? Asa makita nga financial statement ang cash? Balance sheet. Sa income sheet? statement, sa equity, or sa balance sheet? Balance sheet. Balance sheet. So tanawa kung same ba? Yes. It's the same. It's 22,200. Tama ka. So, kung ang 
hatag sa imo na kuon niya <laughs> kay kaning mga transactions i expect you to do everything sabi ko before ang lang worksheet and come worksheet. statement or what gusto ko ngayon gawin mo lahat as a review so pusa <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you this Excel document. Pwede kang yeah. ditong sumagot. Ganit, ma'am, para dili na mag-inform. Para dili kalas o papel. Okay, kalas ka, initial papel. I'm telling you, pertining kalas ang papel. Pero kung di, there's no, um, walay means na maka, makakuan ka o Excel, kasi syempre, pwede na ipapil. Bisag mga scratch-scratch lang, pero nang tarotang runga lang po yung mga agi. Because I'm gonna check your activities this time. I'm gonna grade it accordingly. But please, class, please lang, on your first try, um, ikaw lang muna. Okay? Ayaw sa pag-call a friend. Later na lang na, kung di yun mo mabalance, imong balance sheet, kung di, wala na mao imong cash flow, sige, mag-call a friend ka. Pero, I-try sa Jude nga ikaw lang sa. Okay? Can I count can I count on you yes. na maging independent muna? Yes. Because there's something yes, um there's something special about um being able to solve an accounting problem na ikaw lang. Murag mura man guna siya, ambot lang ha sa inyo ha. Pero sa ako uh, lami kay siya sa feeling. Kana okay. ako lang. satisfaction kung makaan. Yes. Lahit ragid siya. Kay mo man yung nyo hanggi pili ng course. So, I'm hoping na passionate mo about this one. About accounting. So, please try to work on your own first. Okay? Kung na ay questions, kabaluman mo nga. Pwede naman kunin yung ma-text anytime. Hmm? Okay? So, bibigyan ko kayo ng problem. Yung anong meron sa problem, ito lang. Transactions. Maybe a one-month transaction. Parang ganito. Yung ginawa natin kay Wedding Bells. Yan lang. So, anong gagawin mo? First, journal entry. Second, trial balance. Ano no? Three accounts. Three accounts. Next, trial balance. Next, adjusting entry. Ito mga naka-yellow-yellow. Next, worksheet. I hope you can still remember that. Our worksheet. Next, income statement. income statement. Sunod, equity. Sunod, balance sheet. Balance sheet. And finally, cash flows. Oh. I'm telling you, class, kapag kaya rin ninyo siya, answeran nga ikaw lang, murag, Okay na, okay na yung foundation sa accounting. And I hope you appreciate ito. Because this one, sa review lang talaga to, tinuturo. kaning kani o, oh, CAC, uh, Revenue Expenses. I never, I cannot imagine na nung wala niya siya gitudlo sa amua. Nga naara day ing ani. So, ni graduate ko o oh, five years, accountancy, di ko kabalo mag cash flows. And I'm so proud of you, kay kaya rin ninyo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First year pa lang mo. How do mo mag cash flows? Yeah, you're welcome. Kasi gi ano gin ako na before habang nag sa review school ni na Nanong wala man igitudlo tong undergrad oy na makaana good ka. Nga naa lang man ding ani nganong gilisid lisuran man gud me katong undergrad pa mi. Nga pwede ra man di ay mag shortcut. Now the concepts class, I understand na as we go along, you know, solving problems, you will understand the concepts along the way. Yung mga accounting concepts natin, you will understand it along the way. So, yeah. Bibiyaw kayo ng exercise mamaya. The deadline would be, ano ngayon? 17? Tuesday. Tuesday. So, daghan ba mong activities this week? Dagan ba mo mga kailangan ipasa? Busy ba mo? Dili man jud ma'am. Dili ra kaayo. So I'm hoping mapa, ma, matatapos niyo siya by Sunday. Okay? Pero ah, kabalo man mo ang akong deadline, dili man jud baya deadline. 
Kung extend lang ni kaya food ko. Maluloy na mo hang yo, kunay mo hang yo mo, ming oni mo, ming oni mo. Ay sige, okay lang. Mom, bisag okay. na panay mo text nga mom, bisag na alay minus. Ikaw na okay lang, wala man ko ga minus. <laughs> so kumbaga nga nag deadline pa ka mom. So sige lang, kanang lahi na food kung kana makapasa ka on time. So wala man pay additional points no ang makapasa on time. Same lang man gyud na kailan man gyud pud mag kuanta. Pero yeah, just try na ma-finish mo siya before Sunday. Okay? Okay, ma'am. So, si Gab, do you have other questions? Yes. Ah, na question si Leonardo. Or na, ano lang sa iyang <laughs> response? <laughs> na later. So, I have another question, ma'am. Karang ano i-forward ni mo na sa ma'am. I-forward ni mo ang example sa example ng Excel, ma'am. Oo, oh, oh, i-forward ko ito. Itong Excel, ipo-forward ko yung module. Ang ingay ng bibig mo. Oh, ipo-forward ko yung module. Kinig ka? Ipo-forward ko yung module ito, oh. Pero sa bagay, delete naman ninyo ni Kinahanglan. Okay. Especially nga, naaka, this class. Uh, may, may, duman lang ni mo na akong boses <laughs> habang <laughs> nag-go along kasi sa imong problems. Or pwede po mo mag, ano, I-download man ako ng ano, recording. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Sige. So, you ha- you, I will give you everything you need. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Hmm? So, other questions? Other questions? Wala na? Okay, wala na siguro. So, sige class, that would be all. And thank you for attending tonight's session. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Bye, Roseville. Bye. I know my friend. Bye. Viral spill. Yes, that was. No. <laughs> <laughs>